Hey, what's up, furniture nerds? Welcome to another episode of Flat Packs Exposed, the unboxing series, brought to you by Prime Spaces. Today, we're gonna be unboxing the Tavillum Pepe eight drawer double dresser. Make sure to watch all the way to the end because not only are you gonna see exactly what you get upon opening the box, but we're also gonna share with you our step-by-step -step assembly video showing you how to put it together, as well as our full and complete product review telling you everything there is to know about the dresser. Real quick, make sure to like this video and subscribe to join our tribe. And so now, let's get straight into the unboxing. Here is box one of two. Here is the instruction manual. Some reviews online say it's absolutely useless, but don't worry, our assembly video will help guide you through. Here is the top panel of the dresser. One side will be smooth with no holes, but there will be holes for cam screws and dowel pins on the bottom side. Here is the bottom panel of the dresser. Unlike the top panel, this one has holes on both sides for the feet to connect to on the brown side and the other panels, which we haven't unboxed yet, to connect to on the other side. Here you can get a pretty good look of the particle board material that this dresser is made of. Here are the eight drawer bottoms. As you're unboxing parts, you'll notice the ones that look identical, or at least similar to each other. These will likely be used during the same step of the assembly, so you want to start to organize them by size as you take them out of the box. That way, the parts are easier to find at each step of the assembly. Here are the eight right drawer sides. Keep these stacked together and don't mix them with the left drawer sides that we will unbox in just a second. Here are the eight drawer backs. At this point, you should organize these drawer backs alongside the drawer sides and drawer bottoms because they will all be used during the same steps of the assembly. Here are the drawer glides. The drawer glides extend outward. However, they do not separate like drawer glides that you might see on other dressers. Here are the eight left drawer sides, which you can organize alongside the other drawer parts. Here are the eight plastic drawer handles for the dresser. They're actually really sturdy, but some reviews online have been critical of them because they really aren't anything special. So you can always swap them out for a different style if you choose. Here is the mixed bag of hardware. Yes, this means you will have to take a few minutes to separate and organize all the pieces. Here is the hardware after being organized. Here are the plastic dresser feet. Here is a protective styrofoam sheet used to pad the top of the box. It's pretty sturdy and can be used as a surface to assemble parts on if you don't have a work table or carpet floors to work on. Here's some more styrofoam padding used throughout the box to keep parts in place. Overall, the quality of the styrofoam is pretty good. The padding at the head and foot of the box are pretty sturdy, and its thickness helps the box absorb impact better. Box one of two is complete, so we can throw the packaging back in the box for now and move it to the side. Remember to hold onto the styrofoam sheets if you don't have a soft surface to assemble parts on. Here is box two of two. Be very cautious opening the box using a blade. 
As an alternative, while wearing gloves, use your fingers to break the strip of glue that seals the box closed. It only takes a little bit more time and effort, and it ensures that no parts will be damaged trying to open the box. Here is the center panel. And just in case you're wondering, the part numbers are marked on the brown particle board edges. Here is the right side panel. And here is the left side panel. You should organize the left, right, and center panels together for the assembly. Here are the four back panels of the dresser. Here are the two plastic back panel guides for keeping the back panels in place. Here are four drawer fronts. The part numbers are marked on the finished edges shown here. And here are the other four drawer fronts, making that a total of eight. And similar to the first box, they pad the interior with thick styrofoam blocks to protect all the pieces. Box two of two is complete, so we can pack everything back inside. And hopefully, your unboxing goes as smoothly as this one did. If you enjoyed this unboxing, then please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1 million subscribers. If you want to learn how to put this dresser together, then there will be a link to our step-by-step -step assembly video either on, below, or in the description of this video for you to watch. If you want to watch our full, detailed review of this dresser, then there will also be a link either on, below, or in the description of this video for you to learn more. And for other resources regarding this dresser and where to buy it, check below this video or in the description.